In this video, I will instruct you on how to properly use the triple beam balance. The triple beam balance got its name from the fact that it has three beams that are used to determine the mass of an object. On each beam, there is a metal bracket known as a poise, and each poise represents a different degree of mass that it measures. The larger poise measures in increments of 100 grams, the medium-sized poise measures in increments of 10 grams, while the smaller poise measures in grams and tenths of a gram. Before you can use the triple beam balance, you're going to first need to zero it. To do this, ensure that the line on the beams matches up with the zero on the right-hand side. If it doesn't, you need to turn the adjustment knob, either counterclockwise or clockwise, until it matches up exactly. Now we're ready to start using the balance. First, take whatever you're going to measure and place it on the balance dish. Notice that it displaces the line that's supposed to match up to zero. When obtaining the mass of an item using the triple beam balance, you should always start with the 100 gram poise. We'll move it over to the right one space. And if the hash mark dips below the zero, it means you do not have to use that poise. We'll repeat this procedure with the 10 gram poise. We obtain a similar result, so we return it to the zero position once more. Because those two poises didn't work, we now use the 1 gram and 10th of a gram poise, and we slowly push it until the hash mark matches exactly with the zero and zeroes out the balance. When this occurs, we've obtained the mass of our particular item. Here the hash mark has matched up with the zero. And this means that the mass of the paper clip is going to be approximately half a gram. For heavier objects, the total mass obtained will be the sum of all three poises. In this instance, again, we've zeroed the balance, and we now place the Erlenmeyer flask on the pan. It displaces the hash mark above zero, and we start by moving the 100 gram poise one space over to 100 grams. Notice that nothing happens. But when we move it to 200 grams, the balance dips below zero. So we move it back one space to 100 grams. We repeat this procedure with the 10 gram poise, moving it over one spot, and then a second spot. And because the hash mark dips below zero, we move it back to 10 grams. Finally, we move the one and tenth of a gram poise over until the hash mark again aligns with zero. Again, be very careful because at this point in time, slight adjustments can have an effect on whether or not the balance does or does not zero out. Once we finally zero out the balance, we have verified that the line does indeed match back up with zero, and then we obtain the sum of the three poises. In this case, the mass of the flask is 123.5 grams.